Here it is, AKA Powders. A couple interpretations of the Joker that you, you, the AKA Pad Army, may not know about, may have forgotten about. I'm talking two of your favorite things. Arn Star. Okay, okay. Arn Star is gone. But we still have Snickers, the greatest candy bar of all time. Snickers, the combination of the peanuts, caramel, nougat, chocolate, and the Snickers bar. It's it's easily the greatest candy bar in all of existence. And we, we get those two things and we wedge in it, that's what she said, the Joker. Because everyone is talking about the Joker today. And I, I, I'm coming to you. We're making this. We're dropping it. I bumped the previous video. Tonight, I still might do a Joker opinion video. And I love it when these types of discussions, when everything, the World Wide Web gets set on fire. I absolutely love the ideas, the conversations, to see where people go, where they don't go. My intent with these commercials, showing them to you, is to remind you that less is more with this character. The less we know, the better we're off. And the character can look like the Joker on screen. He can look like the Joker. We don't need these realistic, scarred face, makeup, clown face, green hair, like interpretations. The Joker is meant to be a force of nature. He was not conceived as such. If we go to the original gospel, the original gospel, the guy was a little bit more of a menace. You know, he was just a menace. It wasn't until the modern day where guys like Frank Miller, they, they picked up on the creepiness factor of the Joker. They took that ball and they ran it right into the end zone. And from that point on, the Joker has become more of a horror villain. Which is why I love the Jared Leto, Leto version so much. I I just love the Suicide Squad Joker. I, It's like, you know, I'm one of the guys. I want that air cut to drop. I want them to just drop all the footage of Jared Leto as the Joker. I just want to see what, what happens. But I also feel like that's the intent of the character. It's like... The Joker, from my perspective, is absolutely meta. Because he crosses over into the real world whenever we argue about him. Whenever we go back and forth about the Joaquin Phoenix, Joker, Lady Gaga 2. If the internet is set ablaze just from that one movie, it's almost as if the Joker made that movie. And the chaos that that movie creates is what the Joker would have wanted. No other fictional character comes close to this type of crossover. You, we can kind of argue like Neo from the Matrix or the ideas from the Matrix, how they cross over in, into the real world now. But just as a single entity, a single character. And that's really why people take a hill to die on when it comes to the Joker. Because even our in, individual interpretations are so vast and no, none of them are right or wrong and but you guys know me i have my baseline so anyway with with all of that rambling let's check out some joker commercials come on orange star snickers let's go how about we play this next hand with the joker how about the joker plays with you you cut that Da, 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 da. Whoever draws the ace of spades <laughs> wins the night out. That window. <laughs> Darren, have a Snickers. Why? Because you get a little bit crazy when you're hungry. I'm not crazy. I'm just differently sane. <laughs> Better? Better. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. I want to reshuffle! <laughs> this is how you explain! 
exterminate a bat? Batman, this is Karen Boyd from OnStar. I gotta signal your airbag went off. Should I send for an ambulance? Everything's fine. I'll send the police to Fourth and Main. I'll contact them right away. <laughs> You'll never learn. <laughs>